think we thought it, it would make it that far. I don't know if we thought we would. <laughs> Is that about right? There were some times we wondered uh, when they were going through uh, oh, the bankruptcy and some of those things uh, early on. Yeah, uh, there were we some. Were, they went through some rough times. But uh, we hoped they would. Yeah, the, well, here it is. Here it is, yeah. yeah. There was talk of a competitor uh, over behind uh, where the memorial is now. They were going to open up a little ski resort back there. There was one there at one time oh. b before this one. Uh, really? Just a with, little. With yeah. rope toes. Yeah. Uh, wow. uh, Stan Samuel, was, I think, was trying to reopen it and, mm -hmm. uh, back in that area that he and Patterson own now. Was that recently? Well, that wasn't that long ago. It was 15 years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. Something Probably. Like that. You know, they had some real difficulties with the leadership at the resort. Um, and uh, so people were looking at other alternatives. Mm -hmm. But they, you know, that one particular leader was finally taken out and I think he went to jail, didn't Sent he? Went to jail. I for think. drugs. <laughs> for yeah. drug running or something. Yeah. We have a lot of drugs in the valley, and that's, that's a bad part. But. Um, well, don't they, though? Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably true. true. We uh, have been attracted, at least I have, by the memorial, Vietnam Vets Memorial, being a vet. Uh, we got our name on a gravesite over there. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but no, that's in his head. <laughs> on the list, didn't you? <laughs> But, uh, we like that. We like the. Uh, uh, That'll keep our family coming here forever. The way they treat vets, yeah, hopefully, uh, here uh, impressed us. Yeah. yeah. I think they they speak more to the basics of America, the America that we knew growing up. Growing up, it wasn't the America like this political election where they're uh, out in the streets and. 50, 70 year old people are moaning and groaning and having to take time off work and to recover. And I'm like, what happened to America? You know, it's so strange. But here, it's kind of isolated. And you, you're, it's kind of more, maybe back in the 50s, yeah. 60s, a, mm -hmm. almost a century. Yeah. You know, but it's good. It's, it, the values are better. Um, it was kind of, I mean, we just got high-speed internet this year. I mean, we were really, our kids would come from the different states where they have to be to work, you know, and they're like, ah, you know, this is terrible. How do you do this? Well, you don't do that much about it. You just do other things. Mm -hmm. And we find ourselves doing Facebook or uh, stuff like that a little bit more now than we did before we had the fast speed. But you don't even... You don't go to the television for entertainment. You don't go to the movies that much. It's more nature things, summer and, I mean, it's year round. There's always something to do that's nature. And I don't know, we just think that's healthier for families. And uh, it, I you know, might we don't work for all families, but it did for us. And so. Growing up in Duluth, mm -hmm. you know what snow's all about and winter is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm all about that in the cold. Too. I don't miss that too much. <laughs> <laughs> that 40 below. Oh, yeah, we get it. Me. We don't get it that far, but we we'll go yeah. 20 below sometimes. It gets, it gets chilly here. Yeah. Yeah. Tom likes to go out in the jacuzzi every night, and he'll come in in the winter with ice sticking up all over, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. But he says that's what Roll you did in Minnesota. Roll in the snow after yeah. it to dry off. Then, yeah. <laughs> that's what you Minnesotans did. Then yeah. jump in the frozen lake and then run right back <laughs> into the sauna, you know? That's how it was done. Oh, yeah. Did you know they used to have, uh, what did they call them? Pol at, polar plunge. At Eagle Nest Lake? Oh, really? I think last year they didn't do it for some reason. On did they? Uh, New Year's Day, I think it was. I did that in Lake Superior. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't no, know why they stopped it, but they may know. bring it back. But yeah. they, they would do it in Eagle Nest. I think they yeah. were afraid yes. somebody wouldn't come up. They'd have the <laughs> fire department standing yeah. around and all of a sudden. Yeah, that's what they did in Duluth, too. Yeah. 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 I See, love that. That was a fun event. Well, so. Maybe we can bring it back to right. uh, Eagle Nest for you. You two can do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay in a warm coat and watch and laugh. Watch. You're have your yeah, and yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Oh. Uh, what else would you like to know from us? Well, mm -hmm. I guess my next question would be, um, you know, for someone who doesn't really know what Angel Fire 
is about, what, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? Small family atmosphere for great adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, does uh, it does cater? I think to families a lot more than most other ski areas that I've been to or winter sports area, mm -hmm. and it has all around activities. Something all year going. You know, the biking is a big thing now. Mm -hmm. It's a big hiking thing. and the fishing yeah. and uh, so forth in the summer and golf. And the resort tries really hard when they have big, when the big big weekends are here in the summer. I can remember our kids just thought this was the greatest place in the world because they would come up over the 4th of July and they'd be, you know, they had the watermelon eating contests. And um, I, 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 that's one that sticks in my memory because I can still see the kids with watermelon all over their faces. But there was just one thing after another and it was really cool. Uh, just let it go, Tom. We'll just let it go. Well, it'll make a noise on that. Okay, that's our least uh, daughter in uh, Georgia, so we'll call her back. We're not quite sure what you want to know. No, so we're, I love all the stories. It's, 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 you know, it's just, you know, you fire through the years, you know. And, yeah, and it has changed so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... Um, uh, well, not necessarily the resort, but particular area here with the Carson National Forest right up against our back. It's great mm -hmm. for hiking and great for horseback riding and uh, hiking, camping, hunting. Happy yeah. Veterans Day! Hi, Papa. All right, we love you too, and uh, we hope you have a great day. Thanks for everything you did. And do. And are going to do. Love you. <laughs> That was our three-year-old that oh. piped in. Thanks, <laughs> Papa. Um, you know, there used to be a lot, uh, and this isn't a, well, it's just progress. It, uh, a lot of the thing, a lot of the activities were um, more, like I said, loosey-goosey, kind of there weren't a lot of regulations at the resort for probably up until the last 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So that's changed quite a bit. The insurance uh, industry yeah. had a lot to do with that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's afraid of lawsuits and everything now. Right. And, uh, but so they, ha I mean, it's like I say, it's progress. They have to do that. Right. It makes, I think it makes for a better resort in the end. Mm -hmm. you know, it so does. It really makes the experience a lot better. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Any closing thoughts? Um, you know? Well, I think our families decided to the extent possible this is home for as long as we're here and hopefully somebody will be here afterwards because they, I, I think they'll always come back regardless what happens to the ranch. I think they'll, the family's heart is here and when your heart is someplace, that's kind of different than when we moved all around, you know, being in the Air Force, we didn't have a choice. And we liked every place because there were always more positives than negatives. But when you, when you find a place that is where you really find peace in your heart, where you really find, um, I don't know quite how to say it, but it's kind of, uh, it's, it's what's meant to be. It's what life is really all about instead of the... Um, Glamour and all the, some of the activities even yeah. there. And I think the happiest people that come here are the ones that get out and do things that are nature wise mm -hmm. more than, um, I know some like the clubs and the meetings, but most of them I think that are the happiest, they seem to love the, the feeling of freedom that you have here. And, and that's, you don't find that, I mean, you know, we talk about the regulations at the resort, they have to because of insurance, that's right. But when you go to a city, I mean, oh my goodness, I don't think you can live in any town or city anymore where there's not neighborhood uh, organizations. And if you put a flag that's two inches bigger up someplace, it's like, and you're looking at them like, but this is America, this is, 
You know, we're not doing har harm to anybody. As long as you're not harming someone else, you should be free to enjoy what you like. And so we enjoy that part. You know, we can be silly, we can be serious, we can be, um, you know, <laughs> and he's looking around. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, when the uh, dues get back to $25 a year, you'll have lots of customers. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it would only pay for Colorado, the... <laughs> you know, and yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, Angel Fire is one of those little, little hidden gems, you know. It it's is. It really is. Yeah. Be grateful that oh. you're here. It Just honestly be. is. Just the name should attract people and the, the history of the name. Yeah. So. I think everybody we knew in the Air Force for the last 20 years knows the word, uh, the name Angel Fire, because mm -hmm. we'd always tell everybody, Angel Fire, and they love the name. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Mm -hmm. And we had so many visitors the first 10 years we were here. I was wishing they didn't know where Angel Fire was sometimes. Not that we didn't love them, but it was exhausting. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, everybody that comes is just like, wow. No matter where we take them around the area, they're just awed. And that's kind of cool. And you feel a little safer here, too. Um, it's not like the big cities. Hope not. Um, so, one more thing. Tell me the, the story about the planes. Over oh, yeah. Oh, I can't talk about that. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. Because the man of... Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. We were down at Clovis. Uh, no, it did. <laughs> we were down at Clovis. Uh, we often flew low-level flights in the uh, F-111. Mm -hmm. And one of our main routes was up through the Moreno Valley here, come in from the south normally. Uh, many of them were at night. Uh, low level, uh, we could fly down at 200 feet automatically in the terrain. But uh, we'd come back periodically uh, during the ski season to see if there's any snow on the slope or whether mm -hmm. uh, the uh, PR folks were exaggerating a little bit about their <laughs> nine foot snowfall that night. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> oh, but they, they were the regular weather reporters. And we, uh, it was so routine. When we bought this property, the lady, uh, the, the family that we bought it from was talking one night, and, or one day, he, Tom was saying, oh, that's a certain plane. The, the flight still came over here 10 years ago mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. people felt that it was going to ruin the environment. Mm -hmm. And so, but they... And he would say, oh, yeah, we'd come up to check this, the snowfall and see if, and then everybody decide whether they were going for the, where they were going to ski for the weekend. And they did that. They honestly did that. And then he said, and once in a while we'd have a little fun with the cattle or the sheep, you know, and come buzz them, you know, and she'd and he'd say, you'd see these people standing there going like this. And she was like, you were one of those, and you did that, and we just bought her house, you know, and we're like, hmm. yeah. yeah, you did. <laughs> we're all legal. <laughs> yeah. Not a you'd be uh, thrown out for right. some of that, but we kept it safe. Nobody hit the mountaintop. Yeah. They didn't have the big antenna on the top of the slope then. Yeah. And I think they brought a lot of business up, too, actually, mm -hmm. because the, uh, those pilots like to ski. And if they had a good ski report, you'd better believe they were up here. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty funny. I mean, they had somebody that would get a flight to here. Yeah. You know, they didn't always have a choice, but somebody would be able to move it just enough to be able to check it out. Yeah. yeah. In the late, uh, uh, late 50s, I was also stationed down at uh, Clovis at Canada that time. That was BC before Cindy. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, this, this wasn't <laughs> open at that time, but we also uh, we skied at uh, Santa Fe normally, and mm -hmm. we'd also check that out. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're good here. I have way more than I thought I would. Way more than you ever <laughs> 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 you want to know. We just didn't know what to do.